All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion, so let's review it for the 2024 Netflix foreign shark horror film called Under Paris. Now here's the plot. Paris is hosting the World Tarothron uh, Championship for the first time, uh, Sophia. A brilliant scientist learns from Mika, a young environmental activist, that a large shark is swimming deep in the river to avoid a bloodshed at the heart of the city. They have to have no choice but to join forces with Abedo, the San River Police Commander. And I butchered all that and I do apologize for the names. But here is the cast. I will say the opening sequence, and a lot of scenes in fact, was intense. Seems to me like that it wasn't mostly CGI, like they actually shot in actual places. The sharks also looked good to me, which were CGI for the most part, uh, and they were really good uh, CGI. And uh, there was some, there was a spot in the beginning where she, it's kind of, she does a certain thing, and it. Uh, it it definitely kind of looks very too fast and CGI, very CGI. So other than that, CGI was good, especially with the sharks. Um, plenty of stuff that made me jump out of my seat throughout the film. I've been wait hearing this film being highly compared to Jaws. Look, it, it was a good shark film with great camera work, CGI, and great tension building story wasn't that bad either. But claiming it's comparable to Jaws is a pretty big stretch in my very strong opinion. I only saw one scene that had some likeness to the boat at night scene in Jaws, if you know what I'm talking about, uh, in Jaws film. It, was, it had some elements to it. But it's still, it was kind of, you could tell it was inspired by Jaws. But that was literally the only scene that had any reference to it. It was still a good scene nonetheless, though. Uh, here's my writing, and I'll come back to my fall thoughts. This was a pretty good ride of a film, but it was overhyped way more than it should have been because of how so-called claims. But also a lot of not justified hating for it as well. And that's because it revolves around a certain topic today that you get a lot of people complain about. Because of certain... How do I put this without actually putting it? A certain... Actions are all over the news, all over the internet. I mean, not news, but all over the internet, and they're 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 not very great things. Um, but uh, look, I get it. It's a little pre preachy at times, and I honestly hated the actions of the young activist girl. But but because I'm an ass, I was honestly laughing hard at the outcome. Also, what came after was such a glorious, violent segment that it honestly made the film for me personally set in stone. I highly recommend this film just based on that. It, I hated her so much that I am actually glad they didn't go too deep into making you hate her. But man, was it satisfying. I would argue, uh, just off the top of my head of what I can remember of everything I've seen, that was easily the second most satisfying death I've ever seen um, in a film. And obviously number one being uh, Joffrey. I think his name is, last name is Baratheon or Lannister or whatever. Who knows? He was a... Uh, you know, if you haven't seen it, then I'm not going to spoil it for you. But yeah, in Game of Thrones, so yeah, uh, I, I I really like this film a lot. Um, I really did. There was a, actually the first half, the first segment was really really good, 
and then it kind of started getting a little bit back down and slow and then it started going up at a certain point and then it kept going um uh definitely some kind of new aspects kind of more roundedness to certain stories of the tropes and stuff um but uh, let me know your comments down below uh i'm always or your thoughts down below i'm always curious about that uh, but I do, again, highly recommend the shark film. It's definitely in the top ten for me. Um, maybe even five for, for if I think about it more. And let's sit in. Um, but, yeah, so remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love, most importantly. Skull.